how are you guys doing? So you know what? Today's video is gonna be one of those doing the absolute most for no reason at all type of videos. Um, but I figured, you know, you're at home, I'm at home, why not, girl? So I looked for all of my detangling tools that I have. Um, yesterday I cleansed them, got them all ready and prepped up. So today we are going to detangle all this hair with about eight different detangling tools. Now I do have several different comparison videos when it comes to detangling tools, which I think is important you guys. I know if it was me, I would want to see how a particular styling tool pair up with another one. That helps me to make a decision before I spend my coins, you know what I mean? So I will be linking in the cards those different videos, okay? So I have about eight Actually, I have more than that. I have about 10 different styling tools here or detangling tools, but we're not gonna use all of them. So let's just jump right into it. Let me back up. This is a very old wash and go. I did this wash and go using um, Echo Styler Gel and TGIN Twist and Define. So it's very dry, it's very old. I'm going to be detangling my hair with Suave's Coconut Conditioner and VO5's Moisturizing Conditioner and some warm water with a little bit of apple cider vinegar, okay? So let's jump right into it. The first tool I have is a pick, a regular old Afro pick. When I go to Miss Arlette Pender, she uses multiple types of uh, tools and this is one of them, but hers is better than mine. But this is one of them and it does do well because you can get right here. Well, not right now But you could get right here at the root and Really, you know get that in there and I know there's several of you who've told me that you use this particular type of styling tool Okay Then we have your nifty difty wide um, Tooth comb. This is a favorite of mine, too. Next up are wooden combs. I have several different wooden combs, including a rat tail comb. Um, some of these I had sent to me. Remember, sorry y'all, there's something in here. Um, remember a couple of years ago on, was it two, about two to three years ago on Facebook, there was that viral video of the young lady using a wooden comb to detangle her hair. I said, you know what, I need that. So I contacted whoever was running that page and I said, look, this is me, this is my hair, this is my YouTube channel. I need for you to send that to me because I can make it look great. <laughs> so they sent it to me with several other wooden combs and then I purchased my own through Amazon. You can tell the difference here that one of these have um, the teeth or a little bit wider. I think I'm gonna go in with this one, the smaller one, okay? So those are the wooden combs. And next up we have shower combs. Now I have different type of shower combs, but I'm only going to use one for this particular video. So I have these two, your traditional looking shower combs here that I've had for a while. I don't even know why. I really don't even use these, they're just here. But this one, I got this one through Amazon and I like that the, um, what do you call it? The rows are kind of crisscrossing. They're not evenly out like here. So it helps with detangling. I use this one quite a bit actually. Next up we have our brushes. Now you guys, I have a hate love relationship with detangling brushes because I find that with brushes, I always have to use a comb or something else to get at the root of my hair, okay? So in no particular order, again, we have the traditional Demon brush, okay? This is modified. This originally had mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. I took out three. I couldn't do that. Yeah, she, well, I have four rows remaining. Um, I don't use this. The last time I used this was when, uh, I would say the last time I really used this was about four or five years ago. So we're gonna be in, reintroducing her again today, all right? Next up, we have the Red by Kiss Shower Comb. I was pleasantly surprised by this comb. It was very easy to use. Now, I did find, and I will be mentioning this while I'm using every one of these, your hair needs to be very wet when using this particular brush I found, okay? Same thing with another one I'm gonna show you. Next up, we have, girl, this, yeah, y'all saw my face. The Felicia Leatherwood brush, and I know it's kind of clashing with my shirt, so this is what it looks like. Okay, very sturdy, very, very sturdy handle. And next up, we have that viral Facebook br brush, Facebook and Instagram, actually, um, and I will be adding that 
attachment to ensure that the roads are stable, okay? All right, you guys, so this is the next day and my hair, again, is very old, very dry. Again, this is almost an eight day, going into eight days of an old wash and go. And what I'm gonna have to do, you guys, is use some warm water in a spray bottle to help basically reactivate that gel. But what this is also gonna do, this is gonna be a messy detangling session because when you apply water onto a dry gel, it turns white. And as I am detangling my hair, honey, it's going to be, you know, the particles are going to be flying everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and section off my hair to make this process easier. All right, you guys, so as you saw there, I used Suave's coconut conditioner going in after I applied the water. One thing I do want to mention, whenever I, well, before I introduce a detangling tool, I always slightly finger detangle. Look, there is no way I could just go right in using a comb. So the first one we're going to use is the Afro pick going in from root to end. I also typically use more than one type of uh, detangling tool. So after I would use this Afro pick, I will go in with like a shower comb or a wide tooth comb just to ensure that that area, that section is properly detangled. And then I go ahead and twist up my hair. So next up we have the wooden comb. I really do like detangling my hair, you guys, with the wooden comb. I typically use this about 75% of the time. Again, going in slowly at the ends and working my way up towards the roots. Now, there are specific uh, detangling tools that work best in the shower. With the wooden comb, you can use it in the shower and outside of the shower, okay? Ryan Little. <laughs> So next, going in with a traditional wide tooth comb, again, starting at the ends. Now, one thing I also want to mention is that if you find that you're really, really struggling with detangling your hair, especially towards the ends, it may be time for you to have a trim. I'm struggling here because I need more, more moisture, but I would definitely need to go in and have my ends trimmed in about, uh, I say, four to six more weeks. Next up, we have that shower comb. Now, although I can use this shower comb outside of the shower, I prefer to use it inside the shower. You can see here, I'm kind of struggling. Yeah, this is the one that I always use in the shower. I don't think I've used it outside of the shower in a while, actually. You guys, my hair almost looks like a spider web at the root sometimes when it's very tangled. Um, yeah, and washing goes can be a pain to detangle. So moving on, we have the Red by Kiss Detangling Brush. I do have a formal review on this. I find that when I use brushes, I really have to make sure that my hair is saturated with water um, and the uh, conditioner that I'm using. Yeah, see, I need to go back in and add some more moisture. I find that detangling brushes, with the exception of the Felicia Leatherwood brush, detangling brushes are best used in the shower. Next up is that Denman brush and um yeah y'all I seriously had not used this 
in a couple of years. Um, I was using this a lot around the two or three year mark to do a real quick wash and go when, when I could do wash and goes. I just find that these brushes are not as effective, especially if you have four type hair, yeah. So the Felicia Leatherwood brush, you guys, this is one of the few detangling tools, excuse me, brushes that I can actually use outside of the shower with no problem. Now, yes, I do find that my hair needs to be, uh, I can't do it damp. It needs to be pretty wet with a good amount of product, but look how it goes through the density of my hair. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and twist this section up. And last but not least, we have that viral, easy, ratchet detangler. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I understand this detangler brush does work for some people, but it's been a bit of a struggle for me. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you my favorite detangling tools in order. So first up, we have the wooden comb. I love that it's easy to use, easy to clean, no problems. And then, of course, we have the Felicia Leatherwood brush. Look, there's really no explanation needed, okay? The traditional wide tooth comb, great to use, easy to clean. Look at the spatial uh, of the teeth itself. Very similar to the wooden comb, huh? Yeah, very, very similar. And next up we have, I believe it's going to be the uh, the pick, the afro pick. Yes, the afro pick. I love that it can get to my roots. And again, comparing the spatial of the teeth itself. Yeah, I love that I can get at the root with an afro pick. I wish I had a sturdier one though. Um, we have the traditional, well, not really traditional, but a shower comb that I love to use in the shower. Then we have the Red by Kiss Detangling Brush. And we have that viral, easy detangling, and girl, the one that's the least favorite, mm-mm, <laughs> the Dimmon Brush. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye. <music>